We are going to show you a movie about Ilotel Dam. First, we will tell you about the crow culture behind it. Then we will show you how the dam works. The name of the Big Crane Lake and River must never change or the crow people will be no more. A boy and his stepfather were hunting. While the boy was looking over the edge of the canyon, the stepfather pushed him. The boy disappeared from view. The crow stepfather returned to the village and reported the incident. However, the boy was safe. His fall broken by outcrop of cedars. There he was on a precarious perch with no possible way of getting out. Here he waited, hoped, cried, and prayed. On a fight that his prayers are answered. It's, it's just about the way it is now. N not much change. It's too not not too long ago. Uh huh. I was there. Matter of fact, I, I was kind of forward, you know. Said, let's build a good dam here so we'll have electricity. Lots of power, we could sell it. Big uh, ceremony up there. A lot of people from all over the country, you know. State of Montana officials, BIA, uh, from Washington, D.C., Senators, governors, a lot of people there. That's important. So we we all get a there and uh, they build the roads on each side. So we came to that dam, you know. Then <coughs> uh, <coughs> that was after it was completed. It was completed, so we all came there. And uh, we started in. I think it was a good idea that we finally got it going. He heard clicking of hooves and heard a voice saying, My child, I have heard your cries and I have pity for you. I have come to rescue you. You must do as I tell you and do not be afraid. A huge bighorn sheep came and he used up below him and instructed the boy to get on his back and hold on to its horns. He was told to close his eyes and not to open them until told to do so. And when he opened his eyes, he was on top of the canyon on level ground. There were seven big horned sheep around him, and one of them spoke and said, I am the chief of the sheep. I am called Big Meadow. Um, some of the advantages are it provides clean um, electricity generation for the uh, the surrounding area with a uh, very minimum amount of environmental impact. It also provides a tremendous amount of flood control for the not only the Bighorn Valley but also on the lower Yellowstone during peak runoff periods during the spring, during the, the uh, snow melt. Um, Provides recreation for flat water recreation on the reservoir for boaters and uh, fisher fishermen. It also helps in, has helped enhance the fishery in the river to where it provides a little clearer water and a more constant flow. It provides a little bit more storage area water for irrigation for farmers and ranchers in the Bighorn Valley. Uh, disadvantages would probably be that some of the uh, natural scenery in the canyon has been inundated with water so it's no longer usable from a, uh, the beauty and majestic canyon that was here prior to and uh, but I, I'm not aware of too many other disadvantages. Well, yeah, I'm sure there would be. There, w there would be less consistent flows in the Bighorn River below the, below the dam because in the spring there would be a lot of flooding during spring runoffs and uh, which would cause sometimes crop damage to some of the, the crops in the valley. And then in the late summer, there would be a tendency to not have a, a whole lot of water running in the river and maybe perhaps maybe a little less water available for irrigation for 
both the farmers and ranchers in the valley. Uh, recreation, there wouldn't be quite as much recreation available both on the on the river fishery and then also on the reservoir. How much water could be released if it was full? Uh, in the total amount that, that we have capacity to release, is that the, what you're asking? The, uh, the total amount of uh, discharge that if the, if the reservoir was completely full is right about 100,000 cubic feet per second, which is the, the river's safe channel capacity is about 20,000 cubic feet per second, so a great deal of flooding would occur if we were releasing the maximum amount that the dam can release. When the water is held behind the dam, it has potential energy. The potential energy of water behind the dam becomes the kinetic energy of moving water. Potential energy is converted to kinetic energy when the water moves through the tunnel. The kinetic energy is changed to mechanical energy when the water turns the turbine. The mechanical energy of turning turbines becomes electrical energy in these generators. Electrical energy is transmitted through wires and then converted into many other forms of energy. Big Meadow was a magnificent creature with horns and hooves of glistening meadow and the hooves ring like meadow when he walked around. Big Meadow was a magnificent creature with horns and hooves of glistening meadow and the hooves ring like meadow when he walked around. We seven rode these bighorn mountains. That river down there in the bottom is the Bighorn River. Whatever you do, don't change its name. It shall be known as the Bighorn River. If you ever change the name of the river, the crow will be no more. Other animals then gave the boys the right to practice their powers by calling upon them. Among these gifts was knowledge, which was given by the badger. This clever creature taught the young boy how to construct a sweat lodge and told him to build it when he returned to his village. Big Meadow told his people about the bighorn sheep and gave them a warning which the sheep had given to him. Following the badger's instructions, Big Meadow built the sweat lodge and taught his people how to do the same.